All right, today we're taking a look at the uh, laser printer that I use at home. Um, I work from home, but I need to print off a lot of paperwork, so um, a couple of years ago I discovered the difference between a laser printer and an inkjet printer. And the difference is pretty big, so this is the one that I use. It's a Samsung Express M2625D. So let's go ahead and have a look. So for my work, um, I need to print off a lot of different documents, um, usually in batches of maybe 20 or 30 documents or uh, papers. So uh, before I used to use an inkjet printer, uh, and then I discovered laser jet or laser printers uh, like this one. So basically these printers, they print off much quicker and uh, they are cheaper to operate than an inkjet printer and you have to change the printer ink uh, less frequently than an inkjet printer. So that's basically uh, the difference as far as I know. Uh, I'm a novice but um, if you're gonna be printing off a lot of paperwork usually a laser is gonna be pr uh, much more efficient and much uh, cheaper to operate. So here is where the um, toner, which is uh, I guess the, what they call the ink for these. You just press this little button right here. And then this opens up. And then the, in here are the two uh, main parts that you'll need to change. Um, not frequently, but um, basically like typical maintenance if you're gonna be using this. So this is the toner. There's a little handle right here. You just pull it straight out. And right here you can see there's the microchip that connects to the uh, printer. And that's how the information is transferred, I believe. And this is the toner cartridge. D116. L is for, uh, I don't know, large. And then you can get the S, which uh, doesn't have as much printing ink within it. But yeah, this is basically the, the toner one changing part or one part that I've had to change and then here we have the um, something to do with like image uh, I forgot what it's called image something but as you can see right here I have a red light that's flashing that's because this is going to need to be changed so I've ordered one and uh, I think it's called an image drum or something but this is basically the other uh, part of the uh, printer that you may need to change out. Uh, this one you don't really need to change as frequently. I think you get something like 10 or 20,000, maybe 15,000 prints before this needs to be changed, uh, which I've definitely exceeded that recently, and that's why this is uh, red light is flashing to let me know that. But to install it, you just you'll get it in a box and you just slide it right in. It has little tracks on it, so it goes in see fairly easily but you just have to get it just right so there we are so there it's on the track and you just kind of push it in that's to change the drum for the toner same thing it has just a, a track in there you just place it right in there give it a little push and you can hear it click in so that's how those are the two main uh, changing parts aside from the paper and you just close it up like so. And then once it's changed, then the printer's gonna go ahead and try to read it, make sure there's enough uh, ink or whatever. And then as you see, this is blinking red again because it's realized that that drum that I put in needs to be changed. So this is the paper drawer down here at the bottom. There's a little handle right here. You just slide it open and you can fit probably about, I don't know, maybe 300 sheets of paper in there. This is just letter size. I don't actually know if you can print legal on this. I've never done that, um, but this is the paper tray. So once it runs out of paper, this red light's gonna start flashing. It'll let you know, hey, you need to change paper, but it's full right now. So that's the paper tray right there at the bottom. Uh, this little shelf right here, I'm not sure what it is. Um, you just press the button and then this opens up. It has these little sheets right there. Uh, I'm not 
too sure what this is for. Um, I think somebody had said it might be for if you're going to be printing off stickers or some kind of odd shaped item, but I don't know. If you know, leave a comment below uh, because it has this extra little door, but I've never actually used it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and print uh, off a sheet of paper. So as you can see, I have my printer right next to my computer, which is um, semi-convenient. But anyhow, so I have, I'm gonna type up this. Hello, let's print. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and click print. I already have my printer set up and plugged in. And I just click print. And it sends the information right to the printer. And it just comes right out here. Easy enough. All right, so according to uh, Samsung's website, this can print up to uh, 27 pages per minute, uh, which is much faster than an inkjet printer. However, um, most of the time that suits what I'm, I'm uh, trying to accomplish with this printer. Again, I usually print batches of maybe uh, 30 or 40 pages at a time. However, some people, are, some of my customers, they send over large orders of maybe 1,000 or 1,500 pages only a few times. Uh, my experience with printing that many documents with this printer is it uh, overheats. So basically once I get past about 100 pages uh, continuous, the printer slows down and it uh, only spits out maybe three or four pages and then it stops for maybe 30 seconds. Then it'll spit out another three or four pages, which is kind of annoying. So if you're gonna be printing off more than 100 pages um, continuously, then this may not be the best printer for you. Uh, but if you're just doing batches of like 10 or 20 or even 50, then this one, it shouldn't be a problem uh, with this printer. Uh, I don't believe that this is a color printer. I've only used it for black and white because again, I'm just printing off black and white documents. Uh, I'm, so I'm pretty sure you can't print color with this or there's no colored toner available for this. So if you're gonna be printing off uh, colored documents or colored photos, uh, this is not the printer for you. So if you're wondering how big this printer is, um, I just put this coffee cup right next to it. There's my watch right next to it as well. It's not a large printer. If I had to uh, describe it to something, I would probably say it's about the size of two uh, shoe boxes, large shoe boxes. So if you're gonna buy shoes, uh, it would just be basically two of those. So they can fit on your desktop. Uh, they don't need to be sitting on the ground uh, unless you choose to do so. But yeah, that's the size of this printer. The price of this printer was probably, uh, it's been a while since I've had it, but I think it was like 150, maybe 200. Uh, I'm not sure, just click the description for the most recent price. Um, I feel like it was worth it because it prints off pretty quick. And usually in my job, I need to uh, print really quick and head out the door. So uh, the time saved was well worth it. And then on top of it, the printer ink, the toner is pretty cheap. Um, basically I get about, I get thousands of pages printed off and then the toner I believe is around maybe like $50 for thousands of pages. And if you compare that with an inkjet, it's just so much cheaper. Um, of course I can't print off color documents, but that's okay. This is just a workhorse. So that's my review on my Samsung Express M2625D printer. Um, if you want more information, be sure to click the description below and hopefully you found it useful. Thanks a lot for watching.